Hi, my name is Brian. I'm the 3D Print Creator and in this video we're going to take a look at my electronics development station. Now, an electronics development station, you might ask, what is it? Well, it's a thing where you develop your electronic projects. And uh, for that you will need a few things like breadboards, where you can put your components and where you can connect them together with those wire leads. Uh, but you also need power supplies. And I say power supplies because, well, you need a lot of them. Uh, for simple electronics, like for example what you see over here, uh, this is a breadboard with two power lines, one here and one over there. And this power supply can supply 3.3 and 5 volts directly to this breadboard. And this might come handy if you need, uh, for example, 5 volts for your sensors and 3.3 volts for your uh, microcontroller. Now, this is a very simple board, but if you want to uh, limit your currents which you are using, like for example when working with LEDs uh, or with other components, and you don't want to blow them up, then you want to control the current as a maximum. And here I can do that. Now my maximum current is set at 20 milliamps and therefore I won't blow up this LED. Well, if I would have connected this directly to my 5 volt power strip, it would have blown up immediately. So that is what this station can do. I've got three uh, non-regulated powers, 12 volt, 5 volts and 3.3 volts. And I also have got uh, two regulated outputs, which are from 0 to 21 volts and from 0 to 5 amps. So everything in between is selectable. And that makes it a very handy station, which is also very small, uh, which you can work with. Now, there are some uh, places where you can put your components, like for example, your resistors and that kind of things. Uh, also, it's got a bottom and two different plates, like front plates, uh, on which you can put your own uh, components, if you like. So if you don't want to work with these power supplies, which are the DPS 5005s, uh, then you can, uh, for example, buy uh, DPS 3002s, uh, which have a slightly different form factor, and you can build your own new front plate and use that. Uh, if you don't want to work with uh, these uh, breadboards, which are 640 pin breadboards, uh, then for example you can use the smaller ones and build a plate, a top plate for that. So yeah, it's, it's very configurable in how you want to use it. And I think that makes it a great electronics development station, because I made it this way, but you can make it a different way if you like to. And uh, it's just a small housing in a small form factor for your power supplies. By the way, the power supply, the main power supply, is a Meanwell um, LRS350, which is a 350 watts, 24 uh, volt power supply, which is very clean. There is almost no ripple on that, so no noise. And uh, I use it as the main power supply on which I've the two controlled power supplies and three buck converters, which are the um, LM2596 buck converters. So uh, those are the buck converters that I use to uh, have the steady powers like 3.3, 5 and 12 volts. If you think this is a nice project for you as well, and you want to make it yourself, go to my Maker World account, because there you can download the files. Uh, there is also a bill of materials, which I used, but as said, you can change things uh, to your likings. And uh, well, there you have these files and uh, you can build this yourself. Now, if you like this project, well, please give it a like, thumbs up, uh, uh, all the likes you can give on Maker World, like boosts, etc. Uh, I would love that. And uh, also, don't forget to uh, post your own make, because I love to see how you make it. That's it. 
I hope to see you again in the next video. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.